Hey virtual motorheads, today I will be diving into everything we know so far about Assetto Corsa Evo. Now whether you're into high-end hypercars or love tearing up the track in a classic, it looks like Assetto Corsa Evo is going to deliver something epic. In this video I will be looking at what was shared so far along with all the latest updates. First up, let's talk about the stunning screenshots that dropped on June the 27th this year. These gave us our first real taste of what Assetto Corsa Evo will look like. From the ultra detailed cars to the photorealistic tracks like Suzuka and Imola, the visuals are on a whole new level. They even gave us some screenshots of Nordschleife. Personally, that is my most favorite track to race on. Well, you can practically feel the textures of the cars and see the sunlight hitting the asphalt just right. It's a huge leap forward from the original game. As for when we can get our hands on it, Cerro Corsa Evo is coming to PC on January 16, 2025 via Steam Early Access. I know how some of you guys feel about Early Access games and do you know what? I'm gonna give them my money. Early access, you always pay a little bit cheaper and then we just help them test the game and get it to the level that we would like it to be. Unfortunately, console players will have to wait a little longer, but it's definitely in the pipeline. If you can't wait, make sure to wishlist it on Steam right now. A lot of sim racers want to know, is it going to support VR out of the box? I mean, come on. Assetto Corsa supports VR. Assetto Corsa Competizione supports VR. I am sure these guys know what they are doing. And if you go to Steam, you will see there on the recommended minimum and recommended specs, it says VR support, Steam VR, Oculus VR and Open XR. One thing that I am really excited about is that Evo is running on a brand new engine specifically built for sim racing. We're not talking about the Unreal Engine from Assetto Corsa Competizione. This is a fresh start and you all know what that means. The original Assetto Corsa was also built with their own engine and that allowed for modding. So I can only assume this will be the same case for Assetto Corsa Evo. So I'm not here to talk about the current Assetto Corsa and the amazing work that Peter has done with Soul and Pure, but that's a pretty tall order to follow. By the look of things, realism goes to a whole new level with dynamic weather and a full 24 hour cycle in EVO. So imagine now starting your race in a in bright sunlight, only for rain clouds to roll in, completely changing your strategy, or you're battling through the night in a 3 a.m. downpour, it's going to challenge even the best of us. Let's talk about the car selection in EVO. By the look of things, it is going to be massive. We're talking everything from classic road cars to modern hypercars, plus race cars from different eras. Each one is meticulously detailed with performance that makes every car feel unique. And for all those who love to just drive and explore, yes, it seems like Assetto Corsa Evo has you covered with free roam mode. They showed it very quickly, but we saw it. With stunning photorealistic environments, it'll feel just as satisfying cruising through open roads as it will be racing on the track. Perfect for car enthusiasts who like to take in the scenery, 
I can just imagine what this is going to look like in VR. That's all for now guys. Thanks for tuning in and getting hyped about Assetto Corsa Evo with me. Let me know down in the comments what you're most excited about, what your realistic expectations are and whether you will also be one of the first in line just like me to pick up the early access copy of Evo. Until then, let's all enjoy this trailer once more and I will see you next time. This is not about your age. This is not about your car. It isn't about your experience. It isn't about performance or power. And it isn't about how you portray your love for driving. Because Carpation is a state of mind. And it's driven by heart.